Located around an hour's drive north of Wanaka, this little adventure begins in the heart of Mount Aspiring National Park near Haast Pass. After fording the Haast River, it's straight up a steep staircase of tree roots. After 700 metres of climbing, the track breaks through the bush line, but the gradient doesn't ease. A little further on, and the 12 bunk rooster hut is reached. The track keeps on climbing, eventually fading out as it weaves among steep bluffs. Finally, our destination is revealed. two and a half hours in now. It's been a real slog to get up here. We've just got out of the tree line though and we've been greeted with these amazing views. just over three hours walking and a lunch break, it was time to move on. made it to Brewster Glacier. I think it took us maybe two hours from Brewster Hut. The track was a little bit sketchy in places but not as bad as I thought it would be. How incredible is this place? Clear skies overnight led to a big drop in temperature. Day two dawned crisp with a thin layer of ice on our surrounds. It wasn't long before the warmth of the rising sun arrived.
Our first plan for the day was to take a close up look at the glacier, just a 10 minute walk from our campsite. Sadly, like most glaciers in the Southern Alps and around the world, Brewster is slowly but surely disappearing. The glacier face and ice caves collapse frequently. During our time here we saw and heard multiple crashes of ice, some blocks the size of cars. Our next mission was a scramble up to the main divide to check out the views. After lunch it was time to head back down. And then, some things just need to be done. In a repeat of the previous day, we experienced the most incredible afternoon light, followed by another magical night under a million stars. Reluctantly, it was time to head back down the mountain. three days, an absolutely epic trip that my son George and I won't soon forget. Mm -hmm.